Facebook Live. We have arrived one more time, y'all. Let's uh, let's get ready to get it in. Um, here we go. We want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahoo to Israel. So I'm this Pastor Derek Mann on the early what I see these scripture study and prayer line on this 19th day in uh, September uh, 2019. 9 19 19. Hallelujah. Uh, let's go to Matter Yahoo 13. Thirteen and thirteen. Let's start at the third verse. Look what it say. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, "Behold, a sower went to sow; a sower went, went went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside." And the fowls came and devoured them up. <clears throat> I'm going to read that again. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside. And the fowls came and devoured them up. Let's skip down to the uh, 18th verse. Hear you therefore the parable of the sower. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understand it not, then cometh the wicked one and catches away that which was sown in his heart. That is he which received seed by the wayside. Let me read that again, 19 verse. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understand it not, then cometh the wicked one and catches away that which was sown in his heart. That is he which received seed by the wayside. Back to the fourth verse. And when, and when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside. And the fowls came and devoured them up. <clears throat> I want to talk about the wayside um, believer on this morning. Um, there is a such thing as a a a, a wayside believer. And in parabolistic language, um, the fowls came and devoured up the seed that was sown in their heart. Um, that's a person that uh, heard the word. And in the parable, not only did they hear it, but the word was sown in their heart. The problem became they did not get an understanding. That, that, that is the official problem. When the Most High deal with us, he gives us the word. And, and, and I'm assuming that everyone know that the seed that is sown is the word. That's what it's talking about. It's talking about the word. The word of Yah. The instructions of Yah. For the record, the word is instruction that came from the Most High. It's exactly what it is. The words of eternal life, the instructions of eternal life. When the word is obeyed, 
you're walking in eternal life. You're being led by the Ruah. You're being led by the spirit of the most high. When you receive the seed of the word is planted in you, springing up into obedience, AKA eternal life for the record. <clears throat> so when anyone hears the word of the kingdom, abiding in the kingdom of the most high is spiritual. Though we're here on earth, when you're born again, you're born into his kingdom. You're born into his governmental structure. You're born into his way of life. It's all brand new. Though I'm still here, I was born again. And now I walk in a different kingdom than the average person. The average person that's oblivious to the most high can go wherever they want to go, do whatever they want to do, say whatever they want to say, respond whatever way they want to respond. The most high is not, uh, for the lack of a better term, their Lord. He's not their master. They still can acknowledge him and say how much they love him, but that's all talk. In order to cash in on the love they say they have for him, they have to enter into his kingdom. They have to be born into it born again. The first birth, they were born into the kingdom of darkness because mankind is sinful. All of sin that comes short. Mankind is a cursed creation right now, period. And the only way they can get from under the curse is to enter into their creator's kingdom. And that happens spiritually through the word. So when anyone hears the word of the kingdom, now we're dealing with this wayside believer, y'all. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and understands it not. In other words, instruction came, but they don't understand it. The most highest expectation is when you hear the word, you don't harden your heart. You do it. In order to do it, you have to agree with it. That's the understanding that the word is offering here and understand it not. The word says, in all thy getting, get an understanding. I say, come here. And you just stand there. In, 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 in scriptural, um, in scriptural terminology, you, under, you didn't understand what I said the type of understanding that it's talking about is to agree, stand under the command. Humble yourself up under what is said to understand, to, to understand to the point of agreement. You can hear and not agree. You can hear and not adhere. Because adhere is to agree to the point to do. You can disagree in your emotions and still do. As long as you do it. I say, come here. You just stand there. Look. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom, now remember the seed that's sown is the word of the kingdom, the most high's governmental structure, his lifestyle, aka being baptized into the Messiah's body. Yeah. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and, and understand it not, don't agree with it. To the point to do it, then cometh the wicked one. That's the files of the air in parabolistic language. Breaking it down, what the parable really meant is what we're reading right now. Then cometh the wicked one, which is the files of the air, and catches away that which was sown in his heart. He, 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 the, 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 the devil comes and take it from you. He don't want it to stay because you might reconsider and obey. 
He comes and says, I'll take that. Come here. And you'd stand in there. Then the fowls of the air will come and say, give me that, come here. I'll take that. You, you stand there. I'll take the words of eternal life. The, what was said that would have caused you to come, I'm going to take that from you because you don't value it. You're not going. You're, you're not obeying. You're not. You're not doing it. What, Yah will tell you to do something, and 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 a rebellious heart will disagree with it. That, that, that's what this is talking about. A rebellious heart will show up to listen, but that 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 don't mean they're going to do it. A, a, a person, a wayside believer came to hear what he was preaching, but did not come to adhere. Curse is the man that confirmeth not all the words of this law to do them. And all the people shall say, Amen. Curse is the man that confirmeth. Agree with every word that the Most High is telling us to do. Agree to do it. And everyone should agree. Everyone should confirm. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom, I'm reading 19 verse, y'all. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understands it not, the understanding is, if you speak the same language that it was spoken in, you understand what he's saying. But the understanding he's talking about is to confirm it to do it. And all thy getting, get an understanding. When the Most High tell us to do something, he wants you to get an understanding to confirm it. To confirm it. There's some things that people confirm. They agree with it. And they say, okay, I'll do that. But the problem is they'll hear something else and say, okay, I'm not going to do that. Well, the same Elohim that told you to do the first thing that you agreed with is the same Elohim that told you the second thing to do. When you violate in the second, the first thing you are doing don't count. You just got disqualified when you are brave enough to tell Yah what you ain't going to do. You got people to do that. You got people that literally will say, well, I'm not doing that. A.K. I'm not there yet. It, you, you know how you got to soften the blow. You you don't want to sound as evil as you really are. So you got to you got to put it in a way that covers you. So you think. Come here. And you look at a person and say, oh, I'm not there yet. That, that That's another way of saying I ain't coming. Forget what you're talking about. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. That sounds too harsh when you're dealing with Yah. So people for religious purposes, at risk of sounding absolutely satanic like they really are. Oh, uh, if, if you tell the most high, no, you got problems. Um, Adam told the most high no when he sided with his wife and he was pronounced dead. And him and his wife was kicked out of the garden. And sin... Uh, um, took over uh, humanity. Death. Death came on the scene. Death itself got permission to come on the scene and take over the species mankind because Adam told the Most High, no. I, I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm rolling with what my wife say. Over what y'all say. That's exactly what happened. And in our religious state of mind, we do exactly the same thing, not knowing just because he don't kill you right then, just like he did not kill Adam right then. He died right then. In that day, he didn't He didn't live one day. He didn't live to see one whole day. Not Yah's day because a thousand years is the day to Yah. And no man has lived a thousand years since he, when he told him no. Because he told him no. Death came on the scene and folks started dying. And because the, the, the judgment of Yah isn't executed ex swiftly, it is set in the heart of man to do evil because he don't get you soon as you do it. 
He has, he has examples like when Ananias and Sapphira like uh, lied and was playing games with the with the Ruah. They dropped dead right then. Short conversation, boom, you're dead. So there is, there are examples of the Most High doing that, but for the most part, he, he, he people misinterpret his kindness because he allow you to live. He allow you. He gives you room to repent. To change your mind because the consequences is deadly. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and understand it not, you got to understand that understand it not. That don't mean they didn't understand what was said. They refused to stand under the authority of what was said. And the proof is, then cometh the wicked one and catches away that which was sown in their heart. If it, it, it it, it being sown in their heart, meaning they 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 understood what was said. They just didn't agree to the point to do it. Then the enemy has permission to take it. You don't want it. Which brings to pass the scripture that says, Give not that which is yali on the dogs, neither cast thy pearls before swine. Give it a pig, a pearl is a waste. He'll stomp on it. He don't get nothing about. He don't get nothing about no pearls, pig and pearls. Are you, are you serious right now? They don't mix. The word and a wayside believer don't mix. Not because the word didn't have the power to change them. They didn't want to change. You got some people that do not want to change. They want the image of the change. They want the image of being called a child of the most high, but they're not going to stand under what he say. You got people that is not going to submit to what he say. You got people that are religious, having a form of yaliness, but denying the power thereof. There is power to change, to become a new creation in him. When he said, let there be light, there was light because the power was in the word. In the beginning was the word. The word was with Yah and the word was Yah. Yah is what he say. He's what he say and, and, and what he say has the power to create. And when the word stood at the door and knocked and we heard it, we opened and let it in, it has the power to bring light in the soul of a dark person. If a person receive it, the word. Mm -hmm. And the word was made flesh. You got to respect the Elohim, whether you believe or not, right? But you would respect the Elohim that's willing. That is the word. He's the Ruah. He's the living word. And the word has creation power, willing to be born of a virgin, the word. Being, being, being willing to be found fashioned as a man, humble himself to the word. Have the will of a man, but the man humbles himself to the word. It's Yah. The word is Yah. But the man is willing to submit himself, become fa found fashioned as a man, submit himself to the word, and then obey it to the rescuing of the species mankind. Living the perfect example. you could, That's kind of cool. Paying for the sins of mankind. Being the example, in other words. And through that process, we can, we, we can receive that and learn how to obey the word. And the word having the power to change us into a new creation, a new creature. Being born again. Spiritually, forgiven for the wickedness I did in the past, and now through the power of the word, let there be light. That light is now shining in my soul, reconciling me back to a relationship with the Most High. Then I can become new in Him. That's kind of cool, y'all. 19 verse, look, when anyone hears the word of the kingdom, and understand if not, will not stand under the authority of the power of the word. Then cometh the wicked one. I'll take that. And catch the way that which is sown in his heart. This is he which receive 
by the wayside. This is, this is the person that received by the wayside. That, that the word could not profit. Because everyone that's hearing is not confirming every word of the law to do it. To do what the Most High said to we got to get to the point that the word goes forth and we submit ourselves to the point that we're going to obey it. Yeah. I'll do it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. I don't want to have a form of y'all in this denying the power. The power is in the word. Don't try to look for power nowhere else. You're getting spooky on me. You, you try to find power somewhere else, you're in the voodoo and... And, and magic and 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 and, and zodiacs and and all that old weird stuff. You, you're getting spooky on me. You're scary. You're scaring me. The power is within what the Most High say, and what the Most High say in that is your very life. In that is your very eternal life. In what He say. So when the sower went to sow, he went to sow the word. Mm hmm. Inside of that seed is life. Except a seed fall to the ground and die, it abideth alone. But when, when it's buried, then, then the life that was inside of it breaks forth. It's trapped when it's in the seed. But when you bury the seed, then the outer shell has to get out of the way and let the Ruach come forth. Let life come forth. Yeah, there was a, a tree inside of that seed. <laughs> it was life, a flower, a plant. It had to give way. That joker was ugly before he got into the, in the cocoon caterpillar inside of the cocoon. He had to be buried. And then, and, then, and then what came forth was able to fly. I believe I can fly. <laughs> when one heareth the, the word of the kingdom, okay? He didn't have an ear to hear. Let him hear what the Ruah is saying to the Ecclesia. When, when one heareth the word of the kingdom, Right? And understands it not. Disagree with it. I'm not going to do it. Well. The files of the air. A.K.A. the devil. <laughs> A.K.A. Satan. The adversary. A.K.A. the wicked one. <laughs> has permission to come get it. I'll take that. Because you ain't going to do it anyway. The wayside believer don't care anyway. Take it. I wasn't going to do it anyway. In a soft way to mask their rebellion is, I'm not there yet. <laughs> Understand that you told the word, I'm not there yet which was the nicest way you can say, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to obey you. I'm not going to submit to you. Which is equivalent to stubbornness as is as the sin of witchcraft. Rebellion is like idolatry, self-worship. You're not worshiping the most high. You're worshiping yourself. I'm not going to do it. You know you're not supposed to be sleeping with them. <laughs> you ain't going to mess up my love life. <laughs> you know you ain't supposed to be smoking that. <laughs> my nerves is bad. God know my heart. Folks quick to say that, huh? Jeremiah describes the heart of man as deceitful above all things. It will trick you. 
it's like super wicked, but we pet it and treat it. Oh, I got a good heart. So we think. If, if folks had a good heart, they would obey the most high. If, if folks had a good heart, they wouldn't do the crap they do. You're fickle, sometimes me, back body, smile at people's face, talk behind their back, foul mouth, heck of religious, but you just hard to get along with because you ain't cool. It's easy to get along with people that's cool. Hard to get along with you because you're just not cool, but you heck of religious. That's why I don't believe in that old, that old fake uh, religious position with Yah. I don't believe in that. Because you got some of the most foul, wicked people with all these wardrobes and stuff on, and they just scandalous. They just not cool. Because you need the word that stood at the door and knocked to get in you. And because the power is inside of the word. In my closing, I'm going to explain this again, and I'm going to get out of here because this is just a sermon that, right? But listen, if you jump in the middle of the book, you're going to have problems. In your theology, you got to remember the original problem. The original problem started with Adam in dis disobeying the most high. All this religious stuff and wardrobes and beards and all this stuff wasn't even in existence. The prob Remember the problem. The problem was he disobeyed the most high. This, his wife rolled with the serpent because she was deceived. The husband rolled with his wife because he was so-called in love. He wasn't deceived. He was a sellout. He sold y'all for his wife. That was the problem. And he told, he said, the day you eat thereof, you shall surely die. Well, mankind died. The day you eat thereof, a, 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 a year, a thousand years is a day to Yah. No man lived to be one day old in, on Yah's clock based on Adam's sin. That was the problem. The first prophecy was that the seed of the woman shall bruise uh, uh, of the head of the serpent and his heel will be bruised. That was the first one, meaning that there was going to be a seed that came from the woman that was going to deal with the devil to rescue mankind. That was the problem. So in the selection of the nation of Israel was based on the faith of Abraham prior to the law. Prior, before the law ever came. It was a relationship like Adam had, relationship, minus all this extra stuff. Well, all that sin and come short, Torah teaches that, scriptures teaches that. Look at the lives of the patriarchs. They did stuff that wasn't cool, including Abraham. All have went against the most high. And, and, and you notice how Adam did it once and was pronounced dead. Because to go against him is death. You're, you're disqualified. You're wiped out. But because of the faith of Abraham, trust in the most high, he coined rescue through that process. And that was 430 years before the law ever came. So when you deal with Israel, how they treated Joseph shows you how scandalous the nation of Israel was. Just like the heathen, they wasn't cool. That was uncool what they did. The Most High is dealing with them based on his covenant promise with Abraham, but look at their lives. They wasn't cool. To the point that they end up getting cast away and shipped into slavery because they wasn't cool. Because that's not the end of the story. And we think that we're justified by all this outer appearance religious stuff. Man, the Ruah was put on stone. The stone represents the stony heart of man, including Israel. <laughs> and the Ruah, what Yah say, was put on it. And the whole world became guilty before the Most High. Because they didn't keep it. Because... It came 430 years later just to expose Israel. Because where there's no law, there's no transgression. He put it on stone to expose. Folks trying to find salvation in that. Ain't none. For the record. <laughs> when one hears the word of the kingdom, I'll get deeper. I got to go. 
But when one hears the word of the kingdom, true relationship, like Adam had, like Abraham had before the law came, when one hears the word of the kingdom, that ain't law stuff, y'all. That's kingdom relationship. And understand if not, won't submit to it. Okay, you don't want it? Okay, cool. Then come at the wicked one, then give it ear. Give it ear. Catch the way which was sown in your heart. You heard it, but you don't want it. I'll take that. This is he which received the seed by the wayside. The seed of the word could not be planted in your soil. The dirt, that red clay. need the seed of the word that comes from Yah to grow up in the eternal life. You got to be willing to submit to it that it may spring up into everlasting life in you. Come on, y'all. Let's submit. I'll probably be teaching the next step in the soil went to soul. Uh, Yah permit um, tomorrow. We'll be back on same time praying from 6 to 6.30, 6.30 to 7. I'll be teaching again. I pray you got something out of the word. Uh, let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we thank you for uh, the sermon that on this morning, praying that the word fell down in the souls of your children, the seed of the word fall, falling down in the souls of your children, springing up in everlasting life. Uh, continue to sow the seed and we'll be the dirt that receive it. Uh, uh, and we'll submit. In the master's name, Yahushua, I'm going to see how we pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all man. That was the sermon. That's short lesson for this morning, praying that you got something out of it. If you're blessed by it, uh, feel free to push the share button. Just push share so somebody else can be blessed. If you're uh, sowing into this ministry, may the Most High continue to bless you. If you like to start sowing into this ministry because you believe the truth is being preached, um, you got the cash app? Just put in error code 510-209-5818. Again, 510-209-5818 and sow your seed. Um, hallelujah. And uh, y'all want to talk about the word? That's cool. All you got to do is dial 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815648. In closing, I'm going to say this. Those of, the, of us that know scripture and Torah know that all the articles of clothing and all the stuff has is symbolic of something spiritual. Why don't we just get the stuff that's spiritual? <laughs> We're not going to live in the shadow. Come on. Why would you live in the shadow? Get the real thing. I got a handkerchief that mean I follow peace with all men. So I'm walking around with a handkerchief. Why don't you just put the handkerchief down to follow peace with all men? Because you believe the Most High told you you need the handkerchief? Ah, we'll deal with it. But y'all stay encouraged in him. 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Y'all be Baruch, Baruch Shalom. I'm gone.